Hey, what's up everyone, Danny and Alex. In this video, I wanna talk about flowing your punches together, but first, I'm gonna take a basic combination and then break it down for you guys. For people who are starting out, if you're doing pads, boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, at home, or even on heavy bag and shadow boxing, the same principles will apply. Check it out. All right, so take a look. Let's take a basic combination such as the one, two, three, or commonly known as the jab cross hook, okay? So, this is the jab cross hook in regular speed. That's it, let's do it on the pads. Pop, 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 okay? That's great, but sometimes when we're starting out, this is a little bit, although it's just a three punch combo, it's very basic, very common, sometimes it's hard to break it down. Why is that? Number one, because we're trying to add too much speed before having our technique down and doing singular punches. I always like to stress learning the singular attacks first and perfecting those and then putting things in combinations of twos, threes, and fours. Okay, so we're gonna start breaking down the jab cross hook for you guys and see how we like to train it, how I like to always instill it properly in my students. Number one is the jab and now reset. Number two is the cross and resetting and then three is the hook and then resetting. And we'll do that a few times, one, two, three, always correcting the technique. One, two, and three, all right? And we'll go sometimes for a matter of a round or two like this, or sometimes for repetitions. But once we have it down, then we start to flow a little bit more. So it's not gonna be one, broken, two, broken, three. It's gonna be attached together, but we don't wanna go too fast. So a level two might look like this. Boom, 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 okay? But don't break it down, just a little bit slow. Pum, pum, pum. Perfect, see? Now we're attaching the combination together, but bringing it down slowly so we can feel the movement. So there's not as much speed and not as much power, okay? But just a little bit of fluidity. So jab, cross, hook. Again, jab, cross, hook. One more time. Jab, cross, hook, all right? And then level three would just simply be putting the speed and the power together but now we've learned to break it down. We've gone backwards, okay? So using a very basic one, two, three combination shows you guys that you need to break it down because what's gonna happen, and I see this a lot, I've been coaching for a long time, and the most common mistake is people start out in the sport and they try to mimic some of the more senior students or advanced students, and they try to go as quickly as they do, not knowing that themselves, because they don't see themselves in the mirror or on camera, that they don't have the technique down just yet, okay? And it's really important. It's not, it's sad, but I wanna correct this for some of the people who are starting out. So this is how you guys are gonna do it. And you're gonna do the same principle for every single combination you're trying to perfect, okay? So let's say it's a jab, cross, a lead uppercut, it would be the same thing. That's the one, two, three with an uppercut quickly, go. Pop, pop, pop. But then you'll break this down. You wanna learn how to do it correctly, you go one, reset, two, reset, three, and reset. All right, one more time. One, two, and three. It's like every punch is a single strike, okay? And sometimes in between that, you can also just do a two punch combination, reset and do your third punch, okay? So for example, on the jab cross hook, one, two, reset, and now the hook. Get the feel of that movement, okay? So basically, it's understanding the principle that I always teach is rotation of your shoulders, turning your hips, pivoting on your back foot, always getting a good base, a good stance, and returning to that base and that structure after your combo is done, okay? So that's the basic principle I wanted to talk about today is always, before you go too quickly and start putting some combinations together, make sure you have the basics down and then start attaching, okay? Some of the common mistakes, like I said earlier, is sometimes people will have the one, two, three very quickly, but it'll be very ugly, it'll look like this. But there's nothing that rotated in the trunk, shoulders, even hips or legs, okay? So sideways, it could look like this. So it's basically just swatting your punches. And we don't wanna be swatting, we wanna be punching, right? So it's super important to break this down and when you're shadow boxing, if you have a mirror, look at yourself in the mirror and go very slow. Go slow, break everything down and look at yourself and feel, try to memorize how your shoulders are turning, how your hips are turning, and how your feet are turning. All synchronize that once to generate the best technique, hence the most power into your strikes.
All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching our video. Once again, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't so already. We're going to be bringing more Muay Thai, boxing, MMA content for you guys on the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.